Over Portland's historic Washington Park reservoirs really turned into a screaming match at City Hall today. It got so heated, the mayor and commissioners got up and walked out. Chris Woodard, live at City Hall, with more on the debate and the heated arguments. Chris? Yeah, and the city is taking heat from a lot of different angles on this one. There's a lot of opposition for different reasons. But today, the council voted to move forward with the next step in this plan, despite very vocal and angry opposition. The protest started outside and moved in. A city council meeting so disrupted, the mayor and commissioners got up and walked out. You're done. We're adjourned and we'll be back in 10 minutes. And we're asking the chair of the Historics Landmark Commission why they're supporting a controversial plan. How would you answer to those who say under no circumstances should a historic resource like this be demolished? Well, I think, you know, they have the point there, and we didn't take this lightly. These people are angry because city commissioners are voting to take the next step forward in plans to demolish the historic Washington Park water reservoirs. Well, there's no reason for this council to have been fast-tracking these expensive projects, which is why our water rates have gone up. The city would then create underground water storage, and a park in their place, a plan they estimate would cost about $67 million. I really want the people of Portland to understand how very, very serious this is. Opponents want the city to continue to fight a federal requirement that all reservoirs be covered. They worry about construction impacts to the neighborhood, and they want to preserve the historic reservoirs. It wasn't easy that we came to a decision to support. The Historic Landmarks Commission chair cites landslide stability issues, that federal mandate which is out of his control, and plans to preserve the water tower fencing and lighting as reasons they support the plan. I'm out here because for several years I've been very concerned. But protesters are doing all they can to get the city council to stop or delay any demolition. And eventually the city commissioners did come back into chambers here and they gave tentative approval for that demolition. But there'll be no wrecking ball out there, no demolition starting until there are a couple more approvals. There are more steps that need to be taken here. And as for that idea of continuing to fight this federal rule that water reservoirs must be covered, the city says they've done all they can for months now. They've maintained that that fight is over and there is no more they can do as far as that's concerned. Live downtown, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. And that's been the issue all along. The city's repeatedly tried to fight the federal government on this, but the federal government's remained firm mm -hmm. and says that if it's not covered, you're, we're going to start fining you. Well, Dan, keep us updated. Uh, thanks, Chris.